Hi, um, this is a quick tutorial about how to use Erasma, um, which is an app that um, brings things to life. It's called Augmented Reality. What it means is that we can overlay images or text or videos on top of existing images. So you can make, for example, um, a classroom display come to life. So the first thing we need to do is make sure that you've downloaded the or asthma app on your iPhone or your iPad. Once you've done that, if we go into the app, um, you will see a screen just like this. So the first thing that we need to do is uh, click the arrow button here. and then it loads up a different brings up a different display of all different auras that have been created um, quite recently or whatever and you can filter in different ways to get different things there what we want to do is create our own aura so what we do is press um, the plus button here and the first step in creating your aura is to choose an overlay. Now there is some overlays already on the app itself but these obviously aren't really any use to us we'll, we need to make our own. So I've just got a pre um, made video or what a video to use and just to show you this. So if you click on device we want to, we want to get something off our phone. So then we play, press this plus button here and it gives you three options camera, photo album and BlinkX. BlinkX is a search engine which has loads of videos on it and you can just choose which one um, is suitable to you. Obviously you would have to look at this beforehand to see if there is any suitable videos. We want to use photo album so if you click on there and go into your camera roll I'm going to use this video here for the sake of this um, making this aura. Um, just give it a suitable name. Obviously, I've misspelled that. If you are sharing these publicly, obviously we need to be choosing a suitable name. If you're just sharing them in the, in the classroom, it probably doesn't really matter. So then it asks us if we want to create an aura. Comes up with the following message. That's what we are wanting to do. Um, and then this is the next step um, in creating our aura. What we want to do is get the image that we want to overlay either the, the text, the video, or an image on top of. So when you are taking this image, you need to get this um, into the green region otherwise it will never recognize the image so the more towards the green section the better and the easier um, the app will re uh, recognize the image in future okay so this is the image that I'm going to use um, we can just adjust the screen to fit Okay, so you can see it's in, in the green region now. So we capture that image. And this is where we are going to overlay the video on top of. So as you can see, the video is actually there now. But we can just position this wherever we want. Obviously, it's not an ideal shape for this, but it's, it's just to show you how to use it. So then we click the arrow button and it's creating the aura for us now so it, then it asks us for another name
just call it cat1. It asks you if you want to um, keep it private or add it to the public network. I don't actually have an account yet, so I can't share it publicly. You do need to register um, and have your own er Erasmus account to be able to do that. So we're just going to keep it private. Um, and then we just click finish here. And it should create the aura for us. So, what should happen now is um, that every time this your iPad or your iPhone in which you created the aura on gets by this image, it will bring the overlaid video up on top of the text or the image that you have chosen. Okay, so even if we move around, change the angle, the video still is overlaid in the same position, which is fantastic. There's obviously loads and loads of possible uses for this in the classroom, um, so it'll be good um, to start using this.